Now work is underway to transform an up and coming part of downtown Myrtle Beach. Our Gabrielle Coriati explains what crews are doing now to both build it up and protect it from Mother Nature's impacts. All day they've been clearing trees at the construction site behind me. But in just a few months time, if I was standing where I am right now, I'd be waterfront. We got 501 right there, so hopefully it'll help. Um, uh, you know, the entrance into Myrtle Beach kind of helped beautify it a little bit. Crews are clearing out trees here in Balsam Street Park to create a new pond. One of the first steps in the $34 million project to revitalize the Arts and Innovation District. Vice President of CL Benton and Sons, Edward Benton, is overseeing the construction. There's been a lot of planning involved with this project and um, so really just getting the ball rolling here. This pond will help stormwater drain more naturally, keeping your home safe from potentially devastating flooding and aiding in construction. We need to help Mother Nature along here. It's very flat, so we'll build stormwater ponds to handle the rain runoff from a new street, for example. Once the land is cleared, crews will need to realign the underground sewers and bury overhead utility lines downtown. It's all underground work, so you don't, at the end of the job, you really, really don't see what all's uh, gone on, but there will be a lot of work and effort. A next step in the project, street rerouting, including an eventual realignment of US 501. Be prepared, we're gonna be in a work zone for the next couple of years. Benton tells me they wanna see the pond open by early 2024. In Myrtle Beach, Gabrielle Coriati, WMBF News.